everybody welcome back to the seesaw oh my word i've just come back from a grocery shop i went to tesco today um really because on the local like facebook groups and things like that the general word or general feeling was that tesco had the best stock levels in terms of things that were becoming hard to find um and that had been posted throughout the morning various people and so i decided to go to tesco we have tesco sainsbury Aldi, Waitrose and Iceland in our town so we do have a few to choose from but Tesco is also the one that's kind of out of town so you don't have to battle your way in and it's quite easy to park and they have scan and shop so opted for Tesco and I wasn't going to rant over this but oh my goodness what is wrong with people what why is there nothing in a can left on the shelves why is there no pasta rice why are there no frozen vegetables? It, it is bordering on absolutely ridiculous. You know, even if you're going to be confined to your house for two weeks because you come down with this virus or symptoms similar to the virus and you decide to self-isolate, two weeks worth of food is not every packet of pasta in Tesco's on a Saturday afternoon. Um, you know, even if we had pasta every day and I've got you know, Tony eats a lot, he eats enough for two usually, um, with leftovers as well. Caleb has a reasonable appetite and so do I. Um, the giant bags of pasta last us a month and that's when we have pasta usually once or twice a week. So I just don't understand what's going on and why people are doing it. It, it just doesn't make any sense. And I saw two things in Tesco today that really, really bothered me. One was a lady, an elderly lady with just a little trolley of shopping, you know, one of the smaller trolleys. She hadn't got very much and she obviously went in every Saturday to get her little bits that she needed for the week. And there was something, and I don't actually know what it was, I think it was tea in the tea bag aisle. It was down the drinks aisle anyway, so it was either tea, coffee, hot chocolate, something like that. And they were just filling up the shelves and a guy in front of her took every packet of whatever it was off of the shelf. And she just tapped him on the shoulder and quite nicely said, um, I only need one, one of those, could I have one? And he said, no, sorry, I was here first and walked off. And she just looked so dejected and, you know, <laughs> and then further around in the kind of canned food aisles, there was no soup, no canned beans, no canned tomatoes, no pasta, no rice, nothing like that. And there was a young mother with two small children, her husband or partner was with her, and she was literally in tears. She said, I don't know, I can't afford to buy the expensive stuff that's left. And I don't know what I'm going to use to make meals that the children will eat this week. And I just, I don't get it. I just don't understand it. I, I, and where are these people keeping all this stuff? I mean, at football this morning and Caleb's team finally had a win today, a 2-1 win. Caleb is not a goalie, he's a defender, but he had one of the best saves ever. The goalie had gone down and Caleb managed to, after several attempts, get the ball out of the goal. So he was the hero of the game today. Um, but a few of the mums were talking there that we just don't have room. We've got a reasonable sized house. I don't have a lot of storage in this house, but we have a reasonable sized house. And I just wouldn't have room for all of this stuff that everybody's buying. And my worry is that they're going to be trying to sell it on at a higher price when things get really bad, if they get really bad, which we've been told food supply is not at risk. And I tend to believe that it's not. There is no issue with you know, farming and food production. And if everybody can't go to work for two weeks, there'll be enough in stores um, to be able to continue to supply shops. So uh, I'm sorry, sorry for the rant, but I am really, really upset about people's behavior. Um, I just don't get it. So anyway, I spent 85 pounds at Tesco. I then on my way back home, had to stop at the village shop. We've got a little convenience store in our village who, now he carries some meat from one of the local butchers in town. He carries some co-op branded stuff um, and some other branded stuff. So just a real mixture. We always say if you ever, there's ever something we can't find, if we pop down to the shop, we probably will find a version of it there. So I did stop there and pick up a few things. I spent seven pounds there on my way back home. Um, really the canned stuff that I couldn't find at Tesco. So I'll turn you around. I'll show you what I did manage to get. And then I'll show you our meal plan for the week ahead. Not two weeks, not six weeks, not three months, just a week. Okay, so there is the sweep of everything I managed to get today. 
Um, so at the village shop I got some kitchen towel because there was nothing on the paper goods aisle at all at Tesco and as I said there was nothing canned. I did get one canned item and that was the only canned stuff I saw in the whole store. Um, so I got two cans of chopped tomatoes. I needed four. They are quite expensive at the village shop and I needed some for tonight definitely and I think some for Monday but then I'll try to find some at a different store. Um, during the week to, to get the other couple or I'll order some from Amazon or something. Um, some Heinz beans and a carton of tomato puree, a tube of tomato puree. So then on to Tesco's, I got Caleb some um, water splash, it's the raspberry and apple one. I got him some wheat crunchies for his crisps, they're the bacon flavour wheat crunchies. I got the Tesco version of the 50-50 bread which is just called both together. Um, and then I got quite a few treats. We sort of run down treats after half term. And so I've just sort of stocked back up again. I got some Welsh cakes, bubbly milk bars and some nutty nugget caramel. Some jammy dodgers, the minis, the little packs of minis. Caleb likes those in a lunchbox. Um, three chocolate cream eggs. I know you can buy these all year round, but I do only buy them at Easter time. Um, and they were three for a pound. So I got all three. These were the only wheat biscuits available. I wanted some chocolate Weetabix. They didn't have any Weetabix at all. And they only had, this is the only Tesco branded, is the Stockwell is the Tesco basics range. The only Tesco branded cereal they had. Everything else was the um, branded kind of higher price stuff. Um, some Fiber One bars. I like those as a little kind of portioned controlled snack. It's 90 calories for one bar. Um, and I just sometimes take one of those with me to work. Some of Caleb's favourite at the moment, the Rice crispy squares. I got some triple chocolate shortbread squares. I just was stressed. By the time I was finished in there, I was stressed. And so I succumbed to these, which are my absolute favourite biscuits. Um, rice cakes, I got the chocolate and salted caramel rice cakes. So they are rice cakes with a chocolate topping, which I do sometimes buy anyway. But these have got little salted caramel pieces on top. So um, a pack of those, some Oreos for the biscuit tin. I got four mug shots, I'm completely out of them and I've got quite a busy week this week and I'm running around quite a bit. So I just wanted to make sure if I had a day where I wasn't going to be able to kind of take some leftovers or spend the time to make a salad up or anything like that, I've got something in my drawer at work just to, to have for lunch. This was the only canned item, so there was no kidney beans, no... Um, baked beans, no chopped tomatoes, that sort of stuff. But they did have haricot beans, which is what I actually wanted, two cans of those. And these are the beans that are used to make baked beans. So it's like baked beans without the sauce on. Um, a jar of salsa. And then onto the fridge, I got a large bottle of the strawberry and banana smoothie. Um, the Caleb's been having the little cartons of smoothie from Aldi. And they're like one pound something for four, box of four. But... In Tesco, they only have the branded version and they're like three pounds for a box of four. So I just got him a, he won't think this is the same thing because it, he can see it and in a carton he can't see it, but it is exactly the same. Um, apple juice and milk as usual. Again, the fresh food items, there was plenty of dairy, meats, fruits and vegetables. It was just all the shelf stuff that, and frozen stuff that was was missing. Um, Greek style yogurt and some creme fraiche. Um, the flavour of the month for the flavour of the of the season for Moolah Light is rhubarb and crumble and custard. And that rhubarb crumble is one of my absolute favourite puddings. Um, and anything with custard kind of comes a close second. So I couldn't resist these. I got three of those. Um, a tub of quark, some diced chorizo, some cheese strings and smoky barbecue fridge raiders, two packages of the cheese and tomato tortelloni, a block of butter, some a block of puff pastry and also a sheet of puff pastry. So I want this for what I'm making tonight and then I want a sheet to just use as a pie topper for another meal this week. Um, some grana padano, um, it's like parmesan, not quite as expensive. Um, and I did if you just want it for grating over things and a block of mature cheddar before I saw the rhubarb and custard yogurts I had just picked up this pack of berry yogurts Caleb will eat these as well he does like the tubes if he's taking one for school but if he's just eating a yogurt he will eat these so they will definitely get eaten 
um, strawberry cornettos. This is one of the things I was talking about having to buy a more expensive something. So they had frozen rice. There's four bags in there, but it's £1.75. Now, obviously, for £1.75, you can buy a huge bag of dry rice. So um, it is more expensive, but I'm in a position where I was able to do that. And this actually works fine for what I need the rice for this week. Um, sausage, I got some pork and bramley apple, slightly sweet sausage and some sausage meat. Those are for a meal I'm making. And then some chipolatas because we'll perhaps have a breakfast next weekend. Likewise, some frozen hash browns for that. Some chicken thighs, um, some smoked basher fillets. They didn't have any smoked haddock. Um, and this looked like it. I spoke to the fishmonger actually, and he said this would be absolutely fine. I want it for a fish pie type dish. So I've got that and some of the salmon two packages of turkey mince and some pork shoulder steaks i want this to chop up so it's absolutely fine um to just buy the steaks i didn't need a whole kind of joint of pork size um through some veg white potatoes some perfectly imperfect carrots some celery um, baby potatoes parsley and thyme oh two packages of bacon i don't think i mentioned that um, jacket potatoes or baking potatoes, some beetroot salad, which is now Licky's favourite kind of little extra thing. Um, two round lettuces. They didn't have any romaine lettuce, which has been my preferred, but I do like the round lettuce. Um, some leeks, two packages of the mixed peppers, a cucumber, some cherry tomatoes, some Jaffa oranges, which are still looking nice and juicy and delicious. Um, kiwi fruit, pears strawberries a lemon and some blueberries so that was the haul um, looking ahead to our meal plan tonight i'm going to make some empanadas with chorizo rice so empanadas are like the mexican version of um almost like a, a pasty a bit smaller than that um but it's that sort of thing it's a meat filling inside a pastry crust and we're going to have that with chorizo rice and salad. Tomorrow I'm going to make a turkey and leek pie using the turkey mince for, for quick, for speed. Um, Monday I'm going to make grandpa's rice. That's a variation of dirty rice if you've ever had dirty rice. When I was living in the States I went to a potluck and somebody bought this really nice rice and meat sort of dish. Um, and I asked what it was and they said it was grandpa's rice. And so I've always called it that but it is essentially similar to dirty rice. Um, Cheesy tortellini chicken, that's kind of like a skillet, one pot um, bake using that um, cheese and tomato tortellini and some chicken. Um, crispy fish pie on Wednesday, so that's like a normal fish pie except doesn't have a potato-y topping, it's got more of a crispy topping made with breadcrumbs and, and that sort of thing. For, uh, Thursday, a pork and bean casserole, which we'll have with baked potatoes. And then Friday, herb, herb and parmesan chicken, oh, I can't speak tonight, herb and parmesan chicken tray bake. So that's just some nicely coated um, chicken thighs, which I'll cook with potatoes and vegetables all together in the oven. So that is our meal plan for the week. Um, hoping you are all well and not succumbing to needing to self-isolate or any of those things. And um, we will look forward to seeing you back here on the seesaw soon.